Welcome to South Fulton High School. Uh, Story here. For Illinois, we got the South Fulton Lady Rebels against the Southeastern Lady Sun. And that was a guy setting shot by Tina Fletcher. He popped that one in. That gives Southeastern uh, a one nothing lead. Coming in this contest, Southeastern had a 14 and 1 record, while South Fulton is 10 and 5. That's a little background for you as we wait for Mallory Owens to serve it up for Southeastern. We've got another one popping up top. Here it comes. And that's... Oh, here it comes. And they're putting... Yeah, a little bit of... Extra boo-boo time right there for South Fulton. And that makes it 2 nothing now for in favor of Southeastern. And we have Mallory Owen <laughs> again serving it up. And top inside. Oh, ho! That was Jordan Rainsbury putting a little power on that. And that's 3 nothing now. And Owen back to serve it again. And we're good to go here. Up top, and oh, <laughs> on that exchange, back to us, uh, the Lady Rebels on the board, and for them, we have number 12, Jordan Belgian was back to serve, and here's We got Megan Miller dropping that. She got inside and that one fell. <coughs> Again for the kill from Megan Miller and speaking of Miller, she's in the back court now serving for Southeastern. Good to go here. Here comes the shot. Up top. Oh, and then Shelby Lanning just to supply some heat to that one. And, oh, I think that one went a little over. Yeah, it did. And that makes it 4 to 2 now. Contra still favors Southeastern. And, and that's true. That was Caitlin Beard. And that came through. That serve was broken quickly. And Jordan Ring Excuse me. Jordan Ringenberg is in the back court and out of here for Southeastern. And up top is oh that block went to Ryan. Now five to three. And going back to third would be Jesse Capelville for the Rebels. Here comes an Amanda Rosendale. And that was Tina Fleshner. Just put the drop on that one. That makes it 6 to 3 now. And speaking of Tina, she's in the backcourt serving it up. For, and uh, a little bit of a net battle. That one goes to Taylor. Southeast is seven to three now. And pressure's on. And that is a two shot. And the Rosenby I'll see you at that one. <laughs> Just based on the force of her return. She created some problems with South Fulton just by that, by the strength of that shot. And she just bolted that one again. And now it's already 9 to 3. And 9 to 3, they, they've taken a quick jump on this game. And here it comes. Uh, and it, they're putting some. 
serious each time. Charles Fulton, and there is Shelby, Shelby Landing on that one. Oh, Noggin shot right there. Amanda Rosenzale just delivered that one and it's 10 to 4 here. And we're up again going. Oh, Amanda giving us, giving him an entirely new dimension to think about and that one was making nowhere delivering that one. It's now 11 to 4, people, Salty. Southeast is taking command. This came pretty early. And if that was Kelby landing on a serve. Hers went a bit wide, so we're talking about 11 to 5 now. And number 24 for is Carol Rodden. For Carl Fulton. Oh! Alexis Slater delivering now and just a little bit too much on the loose there. And we're back to roll and that uh, went out. And with all these and Gabe, they just got back. It's not 12 to 6. And Amanda Rosendale is in the back court to serve. She dropped that one in. She's putting some heat up top. And here it comes. And Megan Miller just delivered a, a free throw. That makes it 13 to 6. It's some pretty solid power hitting in that front line. Excuse me, for Southeastern. And that's ending up creating, um, creating some problems for a lot of teams who end up facing the Lady Suns this year. And here comes... Oh, George Ramberg had delivered that one. And I, let's see. It's 14 to 6 now. And Amanda Rosen doing the back court serving. Saw Fulton trying to get. Oh, that's. Oh, it's only 14 to 7 now. No problems in that front court at the moment. And looks like number 14 serving up for Saul Fulton. And that one out of bounds. 14 there at the Hickel and Pittman here. Knocked that one out of bounds. We've got a 15 to 7 count here and Saul Fulton just called a timeout. Here, virtually in front of us here, and we will be back with more in part two from South Fulton High School, Astoria, Illinois. 